Hey guys, welcome to Coding with Hanya, a computer science educational channel dedicated to transforming computer science education. Our channel is fueled by three guiding principles, holistic teaching, inclusivity and passion, and creativity and design. With these principles at the core, we have developed a collection of fun and engaging educational content covering a wide range of coding topics. Through captivating animation and thoughtful design, we strive to make learning coding an enjoyable and accessible experience for all. Now let's take a deep dive to the past and talk about breaking the CS barrier. We'll start on my time at Columbia as a CS major. The major was no joke. So I don't know why, but professors don't make much of an effort to make CS classes enjoyable or engaging, even though the material has so much potential. I feel like the lack of support and engagement and real life application of fascinating CS topics that makes learning inclusive weeds out students who aren't naturally adept at the subject and need that extra support and resources. One class in particular stood out, advanced programming. It was notoriously known as a weeder class in Columbia's computer science program. So on the first day of this class, our professor showed off the super low exam averages and told us to set our expectations low because you may not do well even if you try. Talk about encouragement and support. So determined to conquer advanced programming, I immersed myself in the subject. I spent countless hours dying at pretty libraries looking for resources to help me learn these complex and challenging topics. Like any student, I turned to Google and YouTube in search of resources to help me study, but nothing really worked. Through this frustration and helplessness, I turned to one thing that always served me, my creativity. And with this, a solution was born. My solution was to study by creating my own vibrant and visual CS resources that incorporated my love for art and design. As I shared these resources with my peers, the response was overwhelming. Classmates expressed their heartfelt gratitude, sharing touching comments about how my resources had not only helped them, but even saved them in their journey of learning. These experiences allowed me to finally gain confidence and love for CS and drove me to make a difference by teaching. I'm going to lead you guys through Scratch and some other fun projects to help you teach you guys the basics of programming. So I want to ask you guys a favor. I really want you guys to really make the most out of this experience because it might be a life-turning event. So I thought about this was the first class I led and where I uncovered the immense significance of holistic teaching, an educational approach that encourages deep exploration, breaking free from tradition, and embracing real-world applications, passion, interest, and practical relevance. I also went on to teach STEM in New York City public schools. This experience sharpened my teaching skills and deepened my curriculum building expertise. It opened my eyes to the power of effective instruction and the importance of adapting materials to meet the diverse need of students. Throughout my teaching journey, I've had the privilege of instructing over 600 students, both online and in person, which has allowed me to make a difference and rewrite the narrative on computer science education. Coding with Hanya was born from the fusion of my experiences studying CS at Columbia and teaching hundreds of students. This channel embodies the principles of holistic teaching, ignites passion, and focuses on real-world applications, all while using engaging visuals and animations to demystify computer science. So if that sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, join us by subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.